Hi. In this video, we'll look at how we can use the Blackboard Jungle along with PowerPoint to create some really cool effects. And it's pretty easy, actually. I'm in PowerPoint 2016, and uh, this first slide here, this uses one of the included chalkboard or Blackboard backgrounds. And uh, this is good, but and one of the issues here is that it wastes a lot of the area of the screen. But a good technique would be to start with a slide like this and then cut to something maybe another, and this is another image of a blackboard that doesn't take up as much space, or even something like this with a solid. This will give you the most space to work with when you're trying to create uh, slides for your video. But a good idea is to maybe start a video with this and, this, and this puts the idea in your viewers' minds that this is a blackboard. So you could start with this and then just switch to something like this for the rest of uh, the slides in your video. Now when you import, excuse me, when you import a blackboard jungle image into a slide in PowerPoint, and let's do that real quick here, you'll have something like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want him to wave the other direction here. So I'll double click on him, come up to Format, Rotate, and see you have this background. Now a good way to get the color background is to go to Design, Format Background, make sure Solid Fill is then select here and come on down to Eyedropper. And what we're going to do is select a picture, uh, excuse me, we'll select a color from the, the image. And that gives us a background. But we're not done. What you want to do is double click on the image and the, so this will appear up here, the color. And let's set the transparent color of this image to match, to, to, to remove it. And let's remove the background color here by clicking on it. And what we've done is we've enabled us to select colors here. And this will give us the ability to choose different chalk colors. Now and let me undo this will show you why you need to do that. Now I just undid the transparent background, so there's no transparent background now. So I come back over here and see how it turns the whole image, that color? We don't want that, so let's go to set transparent color again. And now we can select a ch different chalk colors. And this is why PowerPoint is so great. It's actually a pretty good graphics program and a video making program. And you have more variations here. You can choose any of these variations for the chalk color or even more colors here if we wanted to you know, select one of these. And that gives us a good effect. And now for text, what I like to do is come up to insert and a text box. And let's just call this Meet Al. And I'll just do the basic text stuff. I'm going to resize this, make it real big. And what I'll do is I've included download links to like three or four or five chalk fonts that you can use that have commercial rights. And you'll see that in the README file. And I'm using one now called Chomp, or it should be Chomp. And this gives us this font here. And a good way to do this, and let me give this some color just to show us what we're doing. Double click, come to color, and I'll choose the green. And then what I like to do is the same. If you want to match it, you come here and you select the chalk color by using the eyedropper and just pick on a bright color. There's actually more colors on Al than you think, so select a good bright color. And that gives us a good chalk. It looks like it's handwritten with chalk. And nobody writes perfectly with chalk on a chalkboard in a straight line, so I like making a little off. And that gives us a meet Al. Now for the next thing we can do is I have Al here. And really quick before I get onto this, and see one thing I like to always do is to make this a little bit brighter. Again, come up here and select your color. And I'll, I can choose this box, this box, the selection. This one I like gives it a little bit brighter color. You can see here how it makes it brighter. I'm moving on and off of it. I'm going to show you how to do a neon effect here. So let me duplicate this now that I've got that color selected. So I'll duplicate the slide. And I'm going to double click on Al. And I'll come up to Picture Effects. Well, excuse me, before I do that, let me get him a color. And I'll use green again. And then I'll come up to Picture Effects. And I'm going to add a glow that matches it right there. And so now you can see how 
we go from this to this and it makes it look like he's blinking. Now I could export this and use it in another program. Again, J, uh, PowerPoint will export as a JPEG or ping and use this as a neon. Or what I can do is duplicate these slides. Then I'll duplicate this. Now I'm going to alternate them. And you can see how we have white neon, white neon, white neon. And let me go to this first one. And I'll click play. And you can set the timing for each slide. But what it'll do is it'll give you flashing. And I'm not clicking quick enough. But this will work when you render it as a video. And the same thing here. Just really quick, give this a neon. So double click it. Come up to color. Set transparent color. And then we can, uh, let's say, let's give this one in a blue. And we can color it like that, give it a chalk, or give it more of a neon effect. We can come to glow, and let's use this glow here. Let's see, we can do that to that. Or we can even do something like this. And again, you would just alternate the slides and set the timing for each one when you're making a video. That's it. I hope you picked up some uh, useful tips and see you in the next video. Bye.